Hello everybody, my name is Elenator, and this is my guide for converting a pre-classic world to classic. This video will cover two different methods for doing so. The first method is really quick and easy, and only involves the Betacraft launcher. The second method is a little more manual, and it requires MCEdit Stable 29. The first thing I want to do is show you the pre-classic world we'll be working with, so that that way you will know what to expect when converting. From our versions that have currently been found, 13A03 is the last version that uses the pre-classic format, and will automatically update when using earlier versions. If I were to load up 14A08, you will see that right off the bat it will generate a new world. By default, this world here will not save once you close the game. In order to save classic worlds or load previous worlds, what you will want to do is hit Edit Instance, then click on Select Add-ons. What you want to enable is Offline Dat Save. This will load any level.dat file within the instance directory. You can then hit OK, OK. And now when we play 14A08, you will see that the pre-classic world I had earlier has now been loaded. The reason why this world is completely stone is because before there were different block IDs, every block was saved with an ID of 1, meaning the entire world will become stone. In the playlist below, I have a guide already created for how to convert a stone world back into cobblestone and grass. This method does not require the Betacraft launcher, but it will require a host level.dat as well as mcedit. The first thing you'll want to do is rename both classic and pre-classic files from level.dat into the level.mine format so that mcedit will be able to load it. Once both levels have been renamed, go to mcedit and then open the classic world that you just renamed. Once the world has been loaded, select all chunks and hit delete blocks. Once the chunks have been cleared out, you can deselect and press import. You will be importing the pre-classic level that you wish to convert. Once the level has been placed, you can then press import. After the chunks have been imported, you can then save the world. Once saved, you can quit MCEdit. Once you close MCEdit, you'll then want to rename your classic world back into level.dat so that Minecraft will be able to load it. After that, you can just launch Minecraft. I know this was not the best example we're using the Betacraft launcher, but I did not have any other instance going on. But yeah, those are my two methods for converting a pre-classic world to classic. After this, I only have one more guide video planned. Thank you all for watching. Bye!